Welcome back to the Uprise, where we are rising up together for positive change. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about working from home. So I have five tips that I've learned from my own experience of having to work from home. And if you are someone who is lucky enough and fortunate enough to be able to work from home during this tough time, first of all, that's amazing. Uh, keep it up. And then second of all, I'm going to give you some tips to help you get through some of the challenges that I've uh, discovered through that. So let's get right into it here. The first tip is create your own workspace within your home. Have a dedicated area that is strictly set up for you to do your job, whatever your job is. Uh, and you want to set it up so that it's ergonomic and comfortable and you want to put in place all the items that you're going to need throughout the workday so that it's not a, a frustration or a hassle to be over there in the corner and not able to get to anything. Um, you want to make it a comfortable yet functional space. That way you can just concentrate on getting the work done and getting through your day. Sometimes it can be challenging having all of your work stuff you know, in your own home, but creating a space for that will kind of isolate it also from the rest of your your home. So you have your work area and then you have your home. So at least trying to get as much separation there as possible, have a dedicated space for the work. That'll really help out a lot. Tip number two, you want to get up and get ready for the day just as you normally would, as if you were headed out to your job, either the office or whatever it is. That morning routine really helps drive your own personal uh, productivity as well as your own personal um, state of mind, your confidence. It helps you continue to be as productive as possible. So it's really hard to resist um, just rolling out of bed and, you know, getting to work and not changing, not taking a shower, not getting yourself ready. Uh, for the first week of working from home, I didn't quite stick to my routine. I, I found places where I could be, oh, well, I don't really need to get dressed or change or whatever. And it's, it's fun to be kind of lazy for a little bit, but it also takes its toll because then you're less productive and you're more just kind of going through the motions and you're not really up and ready to go. So taking the time to do your normal routine is really important and get yourself in a productive mind state so that you can continue working and continue to support your family during this time or supporting yourself. The third tip is an important one, just like the others. Uh, when you get done for the day, when you get off of work, it's important to take a moment to go outside, go for a walk or a jog if you'd like to do that. Take 10, 15 minutes to separate yourself from your household slash workspace. So you get that annual feeling of commuting home from work. So when you're done for the day, you get that 10 to 15 minutes, however long you typically have. You don't necessarily have to take another hour jog or something like that after the end of the day, but uh, take at least 10, 15 minutes to separate yourself from that environment to kind of allow your mind to clear out all of that stuff that you've been working on all day. It'll give you that breather as well, good fresh air. Stay away from people, obviously, social distancing, but uh, for the majority of places, exercise outside on your own is still okay, but you wanna follow any uh, rules and regulations in your area, of course. Keep safe. Tip number four, you want to reach out to friends and family every single day, uh, especially if you are a single person who is now working at home, the isolation can be really difficult. It can be a real struggle for you because you're simply at home by yourself. You go to work over here and you come over here and you do your normal house stuff, whatever that is, and it doesn't change day to day. Even on your weekends, you're still home. So it's important to reach out to friends and family every day, either via phone or some type of video chat. Uh, there's lots of options out there. But it's really important to push yourself to do that. Even do that with multiple people every day. That way you get a sense of 
socializing and being around people and that'll at least be something if we can't uh, interact you know physically in front of each other like we used to we have to do something and it's important to keep your mind out of that isolation state because it's easy to just blend all the days together and before you know it it's been weeks and now you're starting to feel all the effects of isolation so it's really important to get yourself out there through phone calls video chats interacting with people online whatever you got to do tip number five is schedule activities for yourself so that might seem kind of like a whatever type of thing but when you blend your work and home life together and you can't socialize the way you used to now everything just blends together where there's no separation of you know work-life balance or anything like that so it's important to take time to schedule things for yourself that could be exercise which is both physically and mentally good for you um, scheduling activities like if you're artistic you can do different types of art projects um, being creative with maybe photography or video uh, even video games you can schedule to play online with your friends different things like that you want to focus on keeping yourself mentally active and engaged in your life the things that you enjoy so that you can really separate your home life from work uh, back in tip number one creating your own space for your workspace that is the goal ultimately number five is to separate your home life from your work life it's really important to keep those separated as much as possible when you go throughout the day uh, working at your home and then you get off of work it's all still there and you really kind of just drag it on throughout the rest of the day or even throughout the next morning where you're just thinking about work and then oh boy it's work time again there's no real flow to your your balance anymore so scheduling personal activities for yourself is going to really help and it's something that you want to stick to so that you can try and maintain that balance because when you're left to your own vices at home where you have to work it can be really challenging but i know we can do it all right guys i'll see you in the next one allow your <clears throat> you will have that <laughs>